The Tarim River Basin in the northwest of China is one of the driest landscapes in the world. Only the glaciers of the Tian Shan Mountains in the north provide water. In this widespread desert, all life depends on the Tarim River. The typical vegetation along the river is made up of numerous trees, a genus called Euphrat poplar. For generations, the indigenous Uyghurs, a Turkmenian people with Islamic roots, have tackled the drought successfully through building oases. Today, the whole economy of the province is dependent upon high-quality cotton, which makes up 15% of the world's production. However, sand dunes threaten the agriculture along the Tarim River. These dunes are shifting um, over infrastructures like roads or even damaging small villages where they cannot uh, stop the dunes. So the people have to move from this region to other regions. The desertification is due to unbalanced water management. In the downstream region, most of the trees are already dead. Farmers have to irrigate their fields with water from the melting glaciers and with fossil waters from deep aquifers. As a consequence, groundwater levels have been sinking for decades and the soil quality is declining. The biggest problem is the rising salinity in the soil. Overuse of irrigation water causes uh, the soils to become saline and they have, after several years, they have to give up their fields because no plant will grow there anymore. So if the farmers uh, go on to claim more land for their fields and leaving the saline soils behind, after several decades there will be no natural vegetation anymore. So maybe no farmer or anybody can live there after several decades. Dr. Christian Rumbauer and Professor Markus Disser from the Technical University in Munich coordinate the project Sustainable Management of River Oases, a Chinese-German joint project called Sumario. Their Chinese colleagues are well aware of the many serious problems in this region. The Chinese scientists, especially the Chinese Academy of Science in Oumshi, is very famous for their ecological research. They know nearly everything about the plants and about groundwater levels and so on. But I think there's a little bit, um, there's a gap between this special scientific knowledge and, the, and putting the puzzle together. And that was our main goal, to put the pieces together to a framework which can deliver the politicians some practical advice for their next five-year plan, for instance. The German scientists first collect data, social, ecological and satellite-based. Their aim is to create hundreds of scenarios to find the best strategy for a sustainable land management, the decision support system. Now, in the second year of the five-year project, some things are already clear for Professor Dieser. The fossil groundwater should be untouched and to give enough water for the middle and downstream region, that, there is, that the ecology of the Tarim River will be in a, in a good balance. And, of course, in this, with these constraints, you can allow agriculture. That would be sustainable in my eyes.